everyone, it's Shah from Taylor Hearts Travel, a UK travel blog, um, and I've teamed up with Super Break um, on their UK in 48 hour challenge. Um, sorry, that's my little baby that you can hear there in the background. Um, and we're shortly going to be going to Oxford to spend 48 hours there um, and bringing you um, a blog post to show you what you could do if you went for a weekend break there. Um, so yeah, so we thought as it's coming up for Valentine's and I guess it's a nice romantic weekend away, we would do a bit of a Mr and Mrs challenge, um, which yeah, we're probably not going to be very good at, which is maybe quite bad considering we've been together nearly eight years and married for three. Um, and yeah, like I said, you can hear our little baby in the background, so it's fair to say we spend quite a lot of time with each other. <laughs> Just not um, talk about old stuff so yeah but yeah we met in oxford it's one of our well it's my favorite city probably yours in yep. the uk um and jay worked in a bar that was on the street that i lived on so i spent a lot of time in there and we had quite a, a few drinks to say the least um yeah started out quite infantly just yeah started dating and like i say now we're married and we have a little baby and a house together and everything so yeah really nice but anyway on with the game Come on then, me first? So, yeah. Yep. First question is what was, in this case, Jay's first impression of me? Yeah! yeah. Um, and I'm probably going to say that he thought I was an airhead. Uh, yeah, so I, uh, bimbo was uh, was the phrase that, that I used for it. Charming. Uh, that was my first impression because you came in a little bit worse for wear with one of your uh, friends and I didn't really know you then. Uh, and then my second impression was that you were probably a little bit out of my league. That's um, nice. Obviously redeeming for calling me a bimbo. Yes, <laughs> trying to keep it back on track. Before <laughs> this goes horribly wrong. Great. So I guess other way around. What was your um, first impression? Well, yeah. What do you think I, I thought of you? I thought you probably thought I was pretty scruffy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, scruffy. Oh, well, I was nice that I said alternative. Oh, okay. that's a nice way you were saying scruffy. <laughs> no, I didn't think you were scruffy. But when we first met, Jay, um, boy, you can probably, I don't know if you've noticed, got a, a piercing and he's a bit alternative anyway, but when we first met, Jay had dreadlock Mohican. Um, yeah, the Mohican bit was down, all the way down to his waist. So I think alternative is a fairly... So uh, a nicer way of saying it, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Fair. that's all right. <laughs> um, so the next question is, I can't remember. Oh, what really makes me laugh? <laughs> so. Right. right. Is this what makes you laugh? No, this is what I. You think. Well, sorry, what I think, wasn't it? It's going to do confusing. <laughs> yes. How am I peeping? <laughs> What do I think makes you laugh a lot? I would say the thing that makes me laugh the most is Nova, my little baby. Uh, well, I was way out because I put turtle impressions <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, impracti like <laughs> and uh, impractical jokers. Oh, yeah, that is a funny program. So, uh, yeah, I was way out. Yeah, lots of things make me laugh though. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Um, so what do you think I put for you? Uh, boy humour. Did you just read that? No. <laughs> oh, <it's laughs> genius. Yes, yeah. anything stupid, childish, inappropriate. So none of the things big, that you like. Yeah, anything yeah. that I think isn't funny, you will find funny. Yeah. Okay, well I'm winning. Is it a game for, for points? Yeah. Okay. So the next one, um, or the next question is, what has been the best weekend um, weekend away that we've been on together? I really, really struggled. So I think this is quite a hard question because, especially as a travel blogger, I love going away anywhere, and there are so many places that we've been to, and my memory is really rubbish, which is part of the reason I started a blog in the first place. So, I'm trying to think of my best weekend away, um, we had a really nice stay in. We've had two really nice days in the Cotswolds. Um, okay. Um, no, keep going. Oh. I'm way off though. Oh. Actually, no. We had a nice trip in Paris. Oh, I'm still way off. So many nice trips, but 
I guess I was going to say the Cotswolds because they're like those, um, you know, like a rustic, modern retreat and, you know, you have the roaring fire and nice big bathtub and spa and that kind of thing. So we stayed in a really nice place called Dormy House Hotel, um, yeah, which is like a luxe little hideaway. And then we also stayed in their sister hotel called The Fish, which was really, really nice. Okay, well, I put, I put Budapest. Yeah, that was a really good one. <laughs> But there's there's too many. That's yeah, probably like the say, only one that, that I can remember, probably because it was so cold. It was so long ago though, yeah, but yeah, it was amazing. Go. We had such a good time. We like it's a really good budget place. We I think we only spent about a hundred pounds. The flights are dirt cheap. Accommodation, we stayed in this really cute sort of courtyard boutique hotel that cost next to nothing. Went and saw the ballet, went out to eat, we went and to the spa. Went to the baths and it uh, started snowing, didn't it? So yeah. that's why I remember it. Yeah, that was a really good uh, for right. You, what did I, uh, I don't even know what mine is, to be perfectly honest. Um, yeah, Cotswold was nice. Lake District was nice. Um, further afield. What did we do for? A, is it a weekend yeah. specifically? A weekend. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say I'm really stuck. To be perfectly honest. Uh, well. Do you want me to know? Yeah, go on. I put this one. We've just got back from a weekend break in London and it was our first time of taking our little three month old to London. Yeah. First, well, it's not our first weekend away with him. We took him to the Netherlands, but this um, weekend was really nice just because he started laughing for the first time last yeah, night yeah. and he was so good, so smiley, and we just had a really nice time, didn't we? And went for afternoon tea. And Sounds like he's agreeing with me. We ate um, a lot, so I'm always going to be happy when we eat a lot. Yeah, so. basically. Yeah. Okay. Good choice. Um, next question is, uh, what is, well, in this case, is Jay's dream or my dream destination? Your dream destination. Which, again, is a ridiculously hard question, especially being a travel blogger. Like, my list, literally, I'll go somewhere, cross it off, and add five more places. Um, or I'll read someone's blog post or see an article and then I add another place. But I think this moment in time, uh, I would probably say Canada. Oh, way off oh, again. Uh, just, oh, way oh, off oh, again. Yeah, Canada or Lapland or something like that. Just because I haven't been to Canada at all. I've been on a world trip and been to lots of places. So I feel almost like a bad travel blogger for never being to never going to Canada, um, and it's somewhere that we've talked about a lot. Yeah. Um, we've also been mentioning about Lapland and taking um, Nova when he's like a little bit older and you know, really enjoying all of the magic of that. Yeah, so the place that I picked was oh, probably yeah. uh, not, really very, not very child friendly. <laughs> I'm still getting used to that maybe, but um, yeah, Jordan. I do really want to go to Jordan. Every time I see a picture, I just I want the picture with all of that in the background and I want to be an explorer for the day, so maybe I'd be maybe too hot for little man, but Yeah. Maybe when he's even older. So I was close, I wasn't too too far off, but pretty much you could have written any destination okay. and I'd I'd like it. Yeah. So stop looking. So this is what I put, Jay. Um I would probably say Canada or uh maybe somewhere that I can go skiing maybe? We've been talking uh, about that quite a lot. I nearly said skiing, but I put Cuba. Okay, yeah, no, that's, uh, that's a good one, yeah. You have mentioned, we have spoken about Cuba as Definitely. well. But yeah, it was in two minds. Jay really likes the whole, we went skiing once in Colorado, which was amazing, and snowmobiling and stuff, and I know that he'd love to do that. But also know that he'd like a bit of sunshine, and Cuba's quite oh, good. Well, not doing anything, so. Well, it's got the <laughs> relaxing, so and then yeah. I was going to say it's also got like you can do the activities and see a lot of stuff, so a bit of both. Okay. Close. No gold medal, but yeah. close. Um, and then the last question, you'll be pleased to know, um, is what is my ideal Valentine's Day? Which, oh, I think they're all such hard. Like, I changed my mind from like one day to the next. I guess it's a girl's prerogative to do that, but um, I would say my ideal Valentine's Day would be anything that involves a bit of romance, um, a bit of rest and relaxation and pampering, so I'd be happy with flowers or uh, spa day. These are all like really not subtle hints, 
hope mm. Jay's going to take note. <laughs> um, well, anything really. Like, it's nice to spend the time together and just any excuse for a weekend away. I am awful at organising things uh, in every way, shape or form. It's just, no, it's, it's not very much me. I'm good on the day, but leading up to it, I'm, I'm pretty awful. I, I put a surprise trip away where I <laughs> organise anything, and that could anything. literally be anywhere, and yeah. I know you would probably love it if, if I organised everything. Yeah, if you whisked um, me away as a complete surprise, yeah, would be... That would be... Yeah. Nail on the head on that one? Yeah. Do you think? Yes, yeah, so and now you know. Maybe I do. Well, I always, I always know. Now. I always know, but I'm always worried I'm gonna <laughs> mess it up. But okay, there's that. Okay. And for you. For me. Jay's ideal Valentine's Day, I think. A good steak. <laughs> good food. Good lots, food. Lots. Jay's. <laughs> Jay likes to eat. <laughs> so I think. Jay Painting is great. <laughs> They do say though the way to a guy's heart is through his yeah. stomach, and I think that's yeah, it's pretty true. true with you. Like, <gasps> you'd be happy. Yeah. Just spending the day. I don't need to go anywhere. We go away enough, kind of thing. I I, I think that. So sometimes it's nice to not go away. And but just I think have a nice if we did together. go away and you ate, you would be happy. <laughs> we yeah, basically, our days out centered around like, hmm, where should we go for breakfast? Where should we go? Yeah, for lunch? But you, you don't you don't complain with that. No, no, I'm quite. You happy. eat the same portion size as I do. Maybe. <laughs> but yeah, so I think we weren't too far off. It was quite no. hard to even think of the answers for myself, so it's even harder trying to guess what you would put. Um, but I did win. Why? Because I think I got more right. Um, if we did half points where I was close, I think I would have yeah. taken you. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah. We're still going to stay at Mr. and Mrs. and hopefully maybe our weekend away is a good job of going the super break to Oxford because we can use our weekend away to get to know each other a bit more and hopefully, well, do, not. <laughs> hopefully do a bit better next time. But yeah, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy our upcoming vlog.